Hello everyone, I'm Hyperdevixer and welcome back to Nekopara Volume 3. Last episode was kind of a doozy since um, I've been trying to record the opening movie through some other means other than the one I've been using right now and nothing seems to work so I have no choice but to skip the, the movie and quite possibly the ending movie after this. So anyways, last episode was all about the introductions again for our group of cat girls and our little sister. And it just so happens that a diehard fan of them just come through the shop and starts instigating every single one of them. Uh, more so Cinnamon and Azuki for the most part. And so here we are now, at least hmm, at least um, just after the, uh, and the just in the aftermath of all things. And it seems that the blogs is being updated, uh, just as Maple said. So without further ado, let's continue. <laughs> Well, anyone would have a smile on their face when they see you, <laughs> and at least the other cat girls. Well, it's kind of your fault since you've all, you've always been doing that. Well, I guess she could also also has a fault on her own since. She's been posting these videos on the blog, which kind of been a quite an influence on the girl. It's good you should do it on the fly though. <laughs> well, Kasha is just... Well, <laughs> swell. <laughs> Maple, don't walk around while looking at your smartphone. It's dangerous. We're on the way home from making a delivery. Cinnamon and Maple join me on for the delivery. And now we're walking through the shopping district. Well, Maple, in here in the real life, there's have been a lot of accidents that involves people walking through the, uh, across the road while on their phones. Uh, one of those specific cases during the hype for the for Pokemon Go, and it wasn't pretty. Well, it's because none of our regulars came by. It's fine every now and then. I like seeing people's gratitude. Or maybe this is just that you like stroking your own your own ego and giving free kicks to everyone. It surely helped that. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. I don't have a choice. I'm not a fan of Chocolate and Vanilla. I like it too. 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 I like it the harm isn't limited to just four of them. You could join in. After all, we're going to focus on you two right now. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> how, how come you weren't like this when that girl show up? It would have been very helpful for that. <laughs> Stay in your feet, Cinnamon. We still need to walk. <laughs> Upon in their half joking, half shocked gaze, I gently smacked the staggering Cinnamon on her back. Hmm. As again, Coconut are pure at heart, by which I mean they, that they've always acted that way. Well, yeah, if he wasn't really that patient, he would have... Um, wait, wait a minute. It's not really patience, but more of 
being very dense. <laughs> Maple is the most cat like among our <clears throat> among all of our cat girls, I guess. Chowar and coconut think they're dogs. <laughs> and cinnamon can warm up to basically anybody. And at the same time get turned on to almost everything. <laughs> Though Vanilla is also kind of cat like, since she usually couldn't care less about the world around her. As it is uh, that's a tough one. I guess she's more like a wild cat. I suppose that in the end, cats and cat girls both come in a variety of flavors. I think it over as I stare at the backs of the two cat girls. Whatever works, I guess, right? <laughs> Maple half turns, half leans her head back to look at me. That you have to look out for number one. I've only been thinking about my own dreams after all. I haven't really made time to worry about anyone else. I guess you're the same way, huh, Maple? Nope, just his cakes. That's kind of uh, a guy he is. Hmm. I make a show of lifting my hands and shrugging my shoulders. Don't forget that I left the house to start a position because of my own selfishness. <clears throat> Plus, there are times when I make trouble for Shigure. If you girls weren't here, I don't know how I'd keep the store open. I give the two cat girls a pat on the back. That's okay, just, just slowly take it in. Don't, no need to rush. Hmm. It's not like you're causing the rest of us any trouble, Maple. I think we can count that as a, as a part of your individual, individuality, can't we? Both her selfishness and her patience are pretty cute. The fact that she says she has to look out for number one, but still watch herself for everyone is the cutest part of her. Mm, you got that wrong, Mabel. Well, if you could consider the other four? Well, I guess that's true in a sense. You're comparing apples, apple pies to orange and orange truffles. Leave it alone. But, but, stoic is the dream of a dream. It's a very beautiful way. It's a very beautiful way. It's a very beautiful way. Oh, <laughs> she's trying to egg her on. Oh, I nick some. Coineco got some big more yoy, him or say so now to come on the comenda. Well, there are more than a few ways to persuade you. Just wait for a bit. Tatara, mate and the camera, Harry Picotacana. <laughs> there she goes again. She looks mad, but I stroke her arm anyway. I know that Maple isn't really upset at all. <clears throat> Despite what she had had us to believe, you don't seem to care about what people think, Cinnamon. You never have. Hmm. 
Well, I'm glad that you're very aware of your personality, I guess. Cinnamon, unperturbed, begins to hum a melody. Hey, as long as we're all having fun, we continue on walking side by side down the street. Hmm? What's up, Maple? I turn around to see Maple stop in her tracks. Yeah, kind of like a deja vu from the uh, uh, second volume. Cinnamon lets a giggle escape after her imitation of Azuki. Well then, how about we make it up to her by buying her a souvenir? I can't just make every type of dessert, you know? Well, I, I was thinking, I was kind of thinking what Maple said, and if, if Kasha didn't say what he said just now, uh, maybe I would have just let, uh, let Cinnamon ask him for to, to make the crap. I mean, I probably could, but... We don't have any ice cream at home. <clears throat> and besides, those don't count as souvenirs. Huh? Yeah? Why didn't we think we thought of that? You damn cat girls. We're calling damn cat girls, you idiot. We ended up buying some ice cream at the store on the way home. On our breaks, I made them crepes with whatever toppings they want they, whatever toppings they wanted. Nekopara. <laughs> the crepes are the uh sorry. Oh, hold that chocolate. Well, I, I was saying uh crepes are quite thin, uh, so you can't really put a lot of it. So um yeah, you can't really put a lot of a lot of it, and and because if you, if because if you do. You can't really fold it that way. We've closed up shop for the day and have all gone up to the second floor. Chocolate thrust the calendar into my face. Jeez. You're kind of a downer right here right now, Vanilla. Don't act like you don't get time off from the store. They only have to work from opening to closing. And there's not really any need for overtime. Chocolate and vanilla most lays around mostly lays around on their days off anyway. Oh, judging by these words, he's pretty much guilty of what he said to him. We can do some of those things while the store is open though. I guess I could be looking after them more. <laughs> 
So they've been doing some pretty sneaky stuff while he's not looking. Well, I guess he he, he could he would see it on his bill afterwards. Hey, what did you buy that you didn't tell me about? I have to check their order history after this. Although they probably probably just bought more animal DVDs. Why did you, why did why don't you just watch Animal Planet on your TV? That'd be much cheaper. Well, depending on what kind of cable you're on, anyway. And chocolate al always gets candy. Still, wait. <coughs> you can't just buy candy from the nearest candy from the nearest candy store if there are any. I guess I haven't been paying as much attention to you lately. I've been I've been heaping too much work on my understanding companions. It says you too that the shop runs as smoothly as it does. Thanks for all the hard work you do. I pat the two cat girls' heads. Hmm, wait. Oh yeah, I petted them already. Shit. I forgot to pet the other ones again. Ah. Their cheeks raised in twin smiles as they snuggled their en entire bodies up against me. Well then. I guess we could probably expect what ha what will happen next. Well, why did you say? So? Why did you say so? <laughs> why didn't you? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Lie down, take off your clothes, and let me handle the rest. <laughs> oh. Ooh, so it's going to be them who's leading. Over here? Uh, hey, wait! The two of them each grab a hand and pull me along. Okay, so I thought we we're going to go into the very naughty scenes, but I guess this is quite fine. I guess so. More cat grooming scenes. Well, it's not really, it's not really bad, so to speak. So we're just clipping your nails, okay? It's not like, it's not, uh, it's not going to be like last time, right? Right? Oh, for those of you who don't get uh, what I'm saying, uh, back in volume two, they went and had their clean, had their ears cleaned. Come on, Chocola. I said not to move your hands. It's dangerous. We sit, we sit on the sofa. My arms are on both of them as I clip their nails. They nuzzle me as they purr. Aww, that's so cute. They love to have their ears clean and to have their nails clipped. They really are cats. Yeah, that's that's pretty much me, I guess. And I try to cut a lot of. Uh, I tend to go too far when I'm also doing my nails. Chocolate <laughs> They kick their feet as they sit, their spirits high as ever. Watching these two charming cat girls, I can't even help but smile. We haven't spent much time like this lately, haven't we? Sorry to make you wait so long, Chocola, Vanilla. Chocola, Vanilla. 
ネコなりに充実した日々を送らせてもらってるし堂々の喜びもなかなか悪くない。Well, there's more than uh, there's uh, this kind of shit. Well, you do、uh, hard work, that's pleasurable as well.、Uh, not really on the bakery, but on the bed. <laughs> Is that so? Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying yourselves. Alright, Vanilla, you're next. Yoko, Mokido, the Shujin, the Tetsuki, Eroi. Sasuga, Ero Patishi. Just what part of clipping your nails is erotic, anyways? Don't, don't just put your、uh, pastry pans here,、uh, Vanilla. All there is clipping your nails. Demo, Wakari, Wakari, Kushujin, Samanate, Sakura, Maski, this year. なんかこういいですよねご主人様の手って感じでその適当な語彙力がショコラっぽい和む、うん、The most important thing is that you are comfortable We're gonna raise your hand a bit more I indicate where I want her hand to be というかもはや手がエロい What the fuck? <laughs> なんかこう妙なフェロモンを感じて目を奪われたりする。Really? From clipping just from just clipping your nails? You get turned on by this? わかるわかる。きっとケーキばっかり触ってるからだね。手が甘い感じなんだよきっと。正直ケーキ作り手伝ってる時セクハラじゃないかと思うことがある。I have no clue what you're talking about. Or is she referring to all the stands where she zones out while staring at, staring at my hands? I always figured she was just watching the way I make cakes to pick up pointers. But it is quite the shameless cat girl, isn't she? I move the clippers out to her nails. Alright, that should, care, that should take care of it. If you find any jagged parts, go ahead and use a nail file to smooth them out. Ugh, nail file. I hate those.、Uh, it's, it's always.、Uh, I can't really、um, get used to those nail files. So I don't, I don't really use them. Hi! Thank you very much, Mr. Kosuji. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. The two cat girls stare at their nails contentedly. I watch them out of the corner of my eye as I clean up. Hey, how about we go out with everyone tomorrow? It's been a long time since we've done that. Since we're on vacation anyway, we have to make the most of it, right? Chocola raises both hands and jumps on me. Vanilla latches onto me while breathing heavily. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> makes, me, makes me imagine that heavy, heavily breathing. Uh, heavy breathing. Uh, big meme, I guess. Yeah. That picture of a cat and the text says heavy breathing. Those are just their ways of expressing their honest、uh, happiness. You two sure are some cute cat girls. I have to make sure to spend more quality time together with them from now on. I don't just mean taking care of them.、Hmm. I want to be able to pay them back for everything. That's not what chocolate and, and vanilla were talking about, of course. But. Go, s h u j i s a m a What is it, c h a o l a And why is the music stop? Go, s h u j i n What's this now? The two bring their faces in close to mine as if to trap me. Date was a little bit of 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 a 
Ein Wurst hat ein Wurst Gumbling jetzt. <laughs> This is in the bright energetic tone they were speaking just a moment ago. They whispered into my ears, their words thick with meaning. I knew it. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this is the Steam version, so it's pretty much censored. Then again, I'm. I will never pay for the uncensored uh, patch. It costs like ten dollars or something. ひさしぶりの分いっぱい可愛がってもらわないとね。いやあ、ご主人様ったら本当に激しいんですから。That was fast. <laughs> and wow, you can you can even see that change in the transitions. It's, it didn't it didn't went to fade to black. Instead, it just goes white, and here we are. <laughs> hmm. This makes me want to check out the uncensored version. <laughs> But that's that's going to be that's going to be on my. That's going to be for myself. <laughs> Damn, just what did he do to them? I'm very, I'm very much curious by now. I kind of, I kind of notice their, um, their animations when praying. It's kind of uh, very adorable. I bring a spoon of Doria on the table up to my mouth. Meanwhile, Chocolate and Vanilla continue to purr. You two sure are happy. Well, I guess it is one thing to get past the what this called a the sensor restrictions, making making these kind of loot comments in the sensor version. That's because we don't. Hey, you can you get some meat meat sauce on your mouth. Is that really meat sauce or is it something else? <laughs> The two cat girls are eating from their own taste of Doria. I wipe, I wipe sauce, I wipe sauce smears off both of their mouths. さらに明日はデートなんて恋猫妙に尽きますにゃん。もう本当正直飼い猫としてこれ以上の幸せはない。Well, I don't know if I go that far. They might be my cat parents, but is this really their greatest joy? I mean, I, I guess. Well, I don't know about you, but this whole series in itself is my greatest joy. <laughs> I watch my cute, happy companions and ponder what really makes them happy. Happiness is the most important thing, but isn't there anything else you want to you want to do? <laughs> uh, you're, you're not wrong, but that's not what really that's not what he really meant by that. You wanna try being a little nicer? Don't you two have any goals? Dreams you want to fulfill? I know you like having sex and stuff, but <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't expect uh, reading this this line. Oh God. Sakura,の夢はご主人様とずっと一緒にいることです。目標もご主人様とずっと一緒にいることです。私はショコラとずっと一緒にいること。まあご主人も。<laughs> Come on, 
There's gotta be more than that. Why aren't you satisfied by this guy show? I mean, come on. Don't you have any personal goal goals for your own lives? Uh, you never should have asked them, Kasha. They're pretty, pretty naive and pretty simple. But still, so quite adorable. Oh, alright then, I'll keep that in mind. I guess that's just how they are. It seems that the cat girls in our family don't really dream big. As long as their lives are happy, that's good enough. I have heard that their natures are ultimately closer to cats than to humans. They don't try to hide the fact that they don't they, they only re really care about the three biggest necessi uh, the three biggest necessities for life. Not that, there, not that there's anything wrong with being honest. The thought makes me grin. <laughs> And then you're going to do it again. <laughs> it scares me when you do it, so no thanks. And so, we busy live while away our time. The night before our day off, we're on. So we're going, we're, we're going with this dress again, and we're going to this place again. Like, well, it's not really... It's not really... It's not that bad, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end this right here. It's been quite a quite a long episode, but it's still it's still as good as ever. And there's not really much that went on, so I'm kind of looking forward for the next ep for the next for what happens next. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. This is HyperDiveXA, signing off.